Hey guys, Cupcake here, and uh, welcome to the final video of the Ultimate Kung Fire Kung Fu Master Guide. In this video, I'll be talking about toy and some things about Fire Kung Fu Master, as well as some starters, etc. Uh, so the first thing I'd like to get into is skills. Of course, before that, I just have to tell you one important thing. Fire Kung Fu Master is not very good in toy. It is not very good. You need to keep that in mind. So first thing is in skills. So for toy, you have uh, focused recovery, basic skills, stun, daze. This is meant to be on stun, enhanced party, searing bomb on enhanced party, firestorm kick, AOE or stun based on how you play, comet strike on damage, smite on airborne. Flying slam on defense piercing and of course counter on elbow or counter based on how you get to do this. Now the soul shield setup and the gear setup I use, there's two playstyles in general. The first one is um, with Magnum badge, the second one is with uh, Ancestral badge. The better one is Ancestral without a doubt because it resets your tremor and gives you searing bomb but magnum can be pretty good too i think that magnum is really good if you're like not very good with your starter because then you can continue with your searing palm pretty pretty damn well so i'll just hop along into my pp gear and show you how the play style looks like with um with this setup let's say all right, so my soul shield setup, as you can see, is uh, BT tree set, star stone tree set, and two set Nova core solely for the defensive stats. However, in the future, I assume you will not have to play any defensive stats. You can just go full pierce because the damage in toy is being reduced. So I'm going to go on display. The, the bracelet I'm using right now is Tiger. In the future, it will be Subjugator. Uh, Mystic Badge, I don't have it. Honestly, I can't tell how the Dynasty Mystic Badge is in Toy, because I don't have it, really. That's the primary reason. I assume it's not bad, however, well, it really depends. So basically, the most important thing to understand is that the, the bot will tab on your Tremor every time you use that. So as soon as you use your Tremor, it's going to tab. If you're using it before the target is CC'd, it's going to Q and E or do whatever it takes to iframe it. Don't even expect to land this uh, unless your target is already CC'd. And if it's already CC'd, it's going to tab it as soon as you're casting it. It won't even reach the floor. So unless uh, you get the target down to 70 to 50%, then they'll just tab any CC so long as you're still doing damage in that period and then your tremor will be up so in lower floors what you got to do is you got to use tremor to poke out your target stab uh sorry in lower floors you use that after you do an ftps to your target tabs that's when you use tremor and then in the higher floors you just use tremor to straight up poke out your opponent's stab that's the way to go about it so i'm gonna show you how to play with magnum badge in lower floors which is around stage eight so here it goes. So obviously you initiate with a Q and E and triple kick. Sadly my RMB is on cooldown so I have to refrain from doing this. Deck chase. Mistimed it. I can tap because he has no days. So the most important thing to understand is that your target will always tab on your tremor if it's at unless it's under 70 or 50 percent hp in one burst if it takes too much damage if it takes too much burst it's going to tab no matter what but for example if you use tremor on it uh then it'll just tab the tremor so it's sort of uh self-intuitive that you either never use tremor at start before your target tabs or you use it immediately to poke out the tab and then you can do your chain combo. I personally really like the tremor before the reset. That way their tab is on uh, cooldown and I get the reset so I can do the full combo again with all of my CC available. So I think that's the best way to go about it, at least up until you get the badge. So I'm going to show you some fights now. 
with uh, Magnum and Ancestral Badge. I'll show you Blade Master, since the fights were Blade Master, Kung Fu Master, I believe uh, Summoner and Soul Fighter are quite similar. Force Master is just a Stall Master, same as Sin. BD is just straight up annoying for Kung Fu Master, and Destroyer is a uh, spinner class, so you can't really triple kick as easy, but yeah, it works. For any other information, just refer to my previous guide. That's It's slightly out of date because it, used to, it was done uh, when the elements were still not separated, but most of the information there is still correct because I still played the same Comet Strike build, so that's all you have to know. And yeah, so now for some matchups.
this is the end of my five part ultimate fire kung fu master guide i hope you've learned a lot from this guide as have i um <laughs> indeed it, it took quite a while to finish this uh as it actually turned out a little bit worse than i thought it will uh, but that's simply because uh, there was such a large amount of information that you can put and I mean Nobody wants to see an hour-long video about uh, Certain effects of a single item. So rather I, I didn't focus on these But I'd like to thank you for watching my guide and I hope that you learned at least one thing Then if you have then this guide has served its purpose and yeah, I mean Damn, that was quite quite a long uh, guide. I hope you learned a lot. And even if you don't play Fire Kung Fu Master, I hope this gives you a deeper un understanding of the class uh, for the sake of making your parses. Because most of the parses that I see online are either uh, by people that do not have a Fire Kung Fu Master friend who can make a parse for them, or just don't understand the class nor play it at all. So hopefully this this puts out uh, a little bit more knowledge on the fire kung fu master specifically uh, because i see a lot uh, th there's actually not that very few fire kung fu masters there are several fire kung fu masters with very high gear however none of them really make any content so i hope this guide really will help you uh, move up the ranks of fire kung fu master or just quit the class before it's too late so thank you all for watching and see you later alligators keep on kung fu fire mastering mastering <laughs> bye <laughs>